I'm going to be looking at page four of the class notes, and we are going to learn to convert from one metric unit to another, for example, from milligrams to kilograms or from milliliters to liters. So I'm not going to spend too much time uh, on this information here because we really don't need to remember anything except for the order that the Greek prefixes are in. So I'm going to go to the bottom of this page and look at this number line, basically a prefix number line. On one of the earlier slides, we looked at length was measured in meters, mass or weight would be measured in grams, and volume would be in liters. So the starting point of our number line, uh, we're going to just basically call this the zero. So the base unit or the word will be here. And then three places to the right, we're going to write milli. And then three more places to the right, micro, nano, and pico. So this prefix stands for milli, like millimeter or milligram. This is a Greek letter M, micro. And so we could have a micrometer or a microgram. Nano is an even smaller unit, so that's kind of a common buzzword, nano iPod. Uh, and pico is even smaller. So there's no such thing as a milli. Milli is a prefix to uh, meter or perhaps gram. Kilo is going to be on the other side of our base unit. And kilo is a larger unit. So we weigh uh, on the order of kilograms. Aspirin, for example, is going to be on the order of milligram. So as this prefix number line goes to the right, the units get smaller. And that should make sense to us if we memorize this order, which is milli, micro, nano, pico. And again, kilo is going to be on the other side. So there are three decimal places in between each one of these units. And what we're going to do, instead of doing a calculation to convert from one metric unit to the other, we are simply going to move the decimal. And I have an example down here. If we want to convert 500, 589 nanometers to millimeters, since we're starting with the Greek prefix nano, we're just going to uh, find nano on the number line, and we're going to move until we get to the prefix milli. So we're going to move three places will get us to the prefix micro, and three more places will get us to the prefix milli. So this amounts to moving six places to the left, so we are going to move the decimal six places to the left. If we take 589, the decimal will be here. Of course, it's not written. We're going to move the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Place the decimal here, and then fill in these gaps with zeros. So 589 nanometers which we could never see. We couldn't even see that with a microscope. 589 nanometers is equal to 0 0.000589 millimeters. And remember, a millimeter is about the width of this pencil lead, so there's no possible way that we're going to be able to see this with our naked eye either. And if we look at the notes down here, this number that we just converted to in millimeters could be written in scientific notation as 5.89 times 10 to the minus fourth millimeter. Okay. So as another example, let's convert 25 milliliters to liters. Again, we're going to start with the prefix milli, and if we just quickly do our number line, milli is right here. The word liter is what we are converting to. And to go from millis to liters, that is three places to the left. 
So we will take this number 25, place the decimal where it is, and move the decimal three places to the left. And so 25 milliliters, which is about uh, a little less than a teaspoon, is equal to 0 0.025 liters. Uh, one more example here. We could convert 80 kilometers to meters. And again, if we draw our number line, meter is going to be right here at the zero marking of our number line. Kilo is a prefix three places to the left of meter. So if we move from kilometers two meters, we're going to move in this direction. So 80 kilometers, the decimal would be here. We're going to move the decimal three places to the right and fill those in with zeros. So 80 kilometers, which is approximately 55 miles, is going to equal 80,000 meters. So we'll practice this uh, a little bit more on the next slide.